So after spending last weekend with the family, I decided to come into Beijing City Centre and do a bit of sightseeing this weekend. Um, Cherry has a swimming competition this weekend, so um, they're all busy watching that. So I took the chance to come in and do a spot of sightseeing and um, come out with a friend. So I went to um, uh, the Temple of Heaven yesterday and um, also Ho Hai Lake. Um, which was really cool. There's loads of like little shops around there. Um, got a boat and went onto the lake, so that was really nice. The weather's been great as well. Um, and now I'm just sitting in a park called Tauran Ting Park. Um, I didn't realise how big it was going to be. It only cost two yuan to come in, and it's actually crazy in here. Like half of Beijing is here, just kind of doing little activities. I'm sure you can hear in the background. There's like karaoke going on over there, and there's people out on the lake. Um, playing chess, dancing, it's really cool. It's like, um, it's one of the things that I absolutely love about China. So I'm just gonna chill out in the park for a little while and then later on I'm gonna go and meet the um, other homestay participants. So I haven't actually met any of them yet, but we, um, the homestay organizers have actually arranged um, a couple of cultural activities for us. So this afternoon we're going to be doing um, calligraphy and Tai Chi. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. I've done a bit of Tai Chi before, when I lived here before, um, and it was, it was really cool, so I'm looking forward to learning a bit more. And it'll be great to um, meet some of the other participants and hear about their experiences, kind of compare stories. It'll be interesting. So I'm back at the flat now after another really busy weekend. Um, it's been good fun, really nice to get out into the city and um, see a couple more places that I haven't been to before. Um, Cherry had a swimming competition tonight and she's done really well. She came first in her front crawl race, um, so she's really happy with that. We've just had our tutoring session and I'm um, going to go to bed now, ready for another week full of Mandarin classes and tutoring. 
So it was really great to meet one of the other homestay participants today. Um, the guy I met is American and um, he's staying in closer to the centre of Beijing. Um, and he's tutoring a six-year-old boy. Um, seems to be really enjoying it as well. So it was nice to hear a bit more about other people's experiences. And um, we're hoping to get together with a few of the other people who couldn't make it today um, later in the week for a meal. Um, so that's yeah, something to look forward to. I know that a lot of people tend to worry about the kind of social side of the homestay, um, myself included. I mean, before I came here, I wasn't really sure how much kind of time I'd get away from the family or time to go and meet new people who are doing the same, like a similar thing to me. Um, but actually, it turns out that you do get quite a lot of time. And um, though it might be quite scary, the thought of kind of not really knowing anyone around here, what I've found is that it's really, really easy to, to meet other people. Um, so I do actually know, um, I have a Chinese friend who's in Beijing at the moment and um, one foreign teacher friend. Um, so I've managed to meet them a few times. But um, even if you come out here and you don't know anyone, I, I think it's um, it's really quite easy to do. I mean, there's so many kind of online um, apps and things like that where foreigners or expats just kind of, um, it's like a forum and things like this. It gives you a chance to kind of meet other people who are in the city at the same time, um, whether they're foreign teachers, whether they're at universities. I mean, in the big cities such as Beijing and Shanghai, you have got so many people so many foreigners from all over the place really um, here studying and working and doing all kinds of stuff and um, I often find that people are really quite friendly and when they see a foreigner, um, another foreigner, it's quite easy to kind of make friends and just go out, grab a coffee, go and grab a drink somewhere. Um, so in terms of that, I mean, what I've learned over the last few weeks is that it's, it's really not as kind of isolating as it might seem, um, the homestay. So you obviously do get to spend the majority of your time with the family, but the family also understand that you've kind of um, going to have your own life as well. Um, I mean, my family ask me every weekend if I have any plans, and then they kind of work around that. Um, so it is um, really quite good in terms of that. So you get to meet um, people from all over the place. 